Jesper Soyven, thank you so much for joining us today. You're based in Monaco and essentially under lockdown one weekend. How are you holding up? Uh, so far, it, it, it's going okay. I try to... Uh... Yeah, do some double double days on the on the trainers. Let's say Swift is helping me out uh, with that. Netflix is helping me out with that, and uh, yeah, then the, I try to do two days, one day off, so I can actually uh, build up the mental strength again to go the second block of training on the trainers. Let's say, and I even started running this week, something I haven't been doing for a really really long time. So it's it's just something nice to get out because that's what we are still allowed to go for groceries or go for a run so uh, it's nice to get some pressure yeah we heard from uh michael valgren that he had been running as well in in uh the monaco nice area as well maybe you guys will pass each other uh, of course <laughs> appropriately social distance on a run um but yeah that I, that seems like the most important thing in this training block is just maintaining your mental fortitude I don't want to take a break and then have to restart again on the on the trainer. So I actually try to use my mental uh, uh, strength, let's say, to to keep going or try to keep a kind of shape for as long as possible. Because even when I would be able to keep it, keep doing this until mid or even end of April, then it's still uh, I'm actually on the on the normal schedule when I would take my break, which still gives a lot of time before racing is at this moment hoping to restart. And then, obviously, you were on incredible form heading into the Classics, uh, winner of Omlo Pet Newsblad. Uh, what kind of training do you do in this period? Does it go back to sort of a base building offseason? I guess the question is, how do you maintain what you've already accomplished um, without working too hard mentally and physically without a, a set goal? Yeah, let's... Uh, to be clear, I'm, I'm not trying to keep this high high peak form. <laughs> Just uh, keeping the the base there, and uh, yeah, like I said before, I think with Zwift uh, yesterday, I ended up uh, in a in a ride with Tom's uh, in a group ride that he organized, um, which was pretty hard actually. And uh, I had already two hours before easy, and then that one hour came in uh, yeah, some suffering. So. It's uh, it just um, it's, I think it's important to not just go on the trainers and think, OK, I'm going to do two hours without any exercise. So uh, with this, I think the KOM, the sprints on Zwift give you a kind of uh, competitive feeling to actually get some uh, intensity <clears throat> without feeling that it's like a, a real proper workout that you're doing. And I think that's the most important.